Hello everyone. This is just a brief intro into the backpacking trip that I'll be doing in the Wind River Range. I'll be getting on the trail September the 4th and getting off on September the 10th of 2023. The trip I've got planned is about a 50 mile loop, give or take. And one of the things I understand is that you have to be pretty flexible as you may have to make adjustments to the weather or anything else. So um, let's go inside and take a look at the map so we can see the intended route. And then I'll see you all on the trailhead. All right, so here's my intended route. I'm gonna start at the Big Sandy Trailhead and then take the Fremont Trail up here to Haley's Pass and then I'll go across on Haley's Pass right there to Haley's Pass then around over Graves Lake and this right here you pick up the Bears Ears and then I'm going to go down Bears Ears and then I'm thinking I can either go down this way or I think I'll actually take Moss Lake Trail up through here and then come back around back through here and then I'll take Lizard Head Trail right down to here and then right if you cut across here this is Lonesome Lake this is a cirque where everything happens and there's the infamous Jackass Pass and then my plan is to come down to here and this is a big sandy lake so this is a very popular area I'm not sure what I'm going to do about camping there and then my my intent is to camp somewhere around here and then do a day hike up to the Wind River Peak and then hike it back. And then what I'd like to do, I understand that this here right through here is beautiful. So I've got uh, a hike plan through there. So I'm not sure I'm gonna camp that one, come back through here. And of course then take Big Sandy Trail back to the trailhead. All right, so uh, let's see what happens when it's um, all said and done. Well, here I am sitting at the trailhead and it's um, 41 degrees and it is raining. So I am trying to decide what to do. Should I just stay here? It's only about 2.15. So should I stay here or should I just uh, suck it up and get wet and start my first day getting wet? So for right now, I think I'm going to actually just uh, wait it out a little while longer and hopefully it'll clear out in just a little bit. Just wanna do a quick video here. I don't know if you can hear it. But it is actually pouring outside. But I've got my chair set up. And all is good. Hear that rain. Pass quite windy, and this is the way it's been foggy, rainy, but I did it. it Well, 
day two is done and it was pretty epic a little over 12 miles and i did make it over haley's pass and there was a lot of you know hesitation and decisions i had to make because the weather was so iffy it was raining um drizzling throughout the the day so it was always chilly and you know you don't want to take a pass if it's the weather's going to be inclement but um actually it all worked out yes it was foggy but i could see the trail and the cairns and made it over so um it took me a little over 10 hours but i found this great campsite and um so anyway i'm beat and i'll see you all tomorrow Well, I decided not to take the Moss Lake Trail as I was pretty spent after yesterday and it was a lot of climbing without any lakes or scenery. So I was going to stay on the Bears Ears Trail. And I was walking out this morning, I ran into a group and they said, oh, you need to stay at the Little Valentine Lake if you want some solitude. And so anyway, here I am and it's uh, super windy. And what they didn't tell me is that I was going to have to well, not bushwhack, but rock whack all the way down. But I was pretty much committed. So anyway, here I am. It's going to be a windy evening. And uh, then tomorrow I have to climb back out and go from there. So I thought I would take a minute to talk about what I've been doing for bear protection. This right here is my bear canister. And it's the largest one you can get which I feel I needed for seven days. And I tell you what, it is heavy. And I think that's what's creating some of my problem is I'm trying to carry seven days worth of food. And honestly, I also believe that I overpacked. And then what you're supposed to do is put about 100 feet away from your campsite. So give or take, that's 100 feet away. And then the other thing I also have is bear spray. So I carry this with me on my backpack at all times in case I need it I can reach for it pretty quickly so that's what I've been doing for bear protection
an interesting thing happened the other night that I'm just getting around to talking about now is I was at 11,000 feet and I was trying to open the bear canister and I could not. It was absolutely, totally locked. There was no way I could open it, twist it, turn it. I banged on it. I couldn't feel what was going on. And then I got to think it was probably Boyle's Law with me climbing up, you know, several, probably about at least a thousand feet or more, the thing would not open. So to make a long story short, I thought, well, if I could just decompress it right here, then when we release the pressure, it would come off. No, it would not open. So I ended up having to cut that open to loosen it up and to finally be able to get to my food. My other choices were, well, I could wait, but then I would still be climbing even more the next day. And when I came back down the next evening, I would still be at the same altitude where I was the night before. So I pretty much had no choice. So that was one of those uh, trials and tribulations of this um, trip. Remarkably this morning as I was going over Jackass Pass, I ran into a friend from my hometown. Now I was telling him that I was hoping to climb to the top of Wind River Peak on my layover day tomorrow. And he strongly suggested I do not do it, he said, because it was so exposed, the talus and the scree was just so bad. So um, back and forth today, what should I do tomorrow on my layover day? So kind of like as a, let's see what happens, I am going to um, at least try it and turn around if it does get too dangerous. So I'll check in tomorrow evening and kind of let you all know what happened. Well, I'm not going to make it to the summit of Wind River Peak. I had a hard turnaround time of 1.30 and it is 12.30 right now and I'm going to zoom in. That is still ahead of me and that's probably several hundred feet of just boulders going straight up. And that's only to get to the next plateau before you had to climb. So my friend was very right in the fact there was going to be a pain in the butt to do. Also, it, I did not anticipate how hard it's going to be just to find the route just to get up to here. It took me four hours just to try to get to here because I tried to find the route. So anyway, I'm having a beautiful lunch overlooking this valley and um, I'm not going to summit.